Good day guys and welcome to another Blender Buzz tutorial. I have decided to do a complete character series in Blender and we're going to be using Blender 2.78 and we're going to be doing a complete character creation. We're going to be going through modeling, rigging, um, setting up shape keys and all sorts of things like that to create a fairly simple, it's not complex, I'm keeping this very simple, but a character you can use um, that's kind of production ready. You can do a lot of it, you can open your eyes, if I quickly hide that. So you can go ahead and open your eyes. You can move you can move the eyes around by moving this main control bone. I can go open my mouth. I can make him smile, I can make him frown, and I can control his limbs. We're gonna set up some very basic drivers. I can also um, lift up his feet like this. And I can do quite a lot of them. It's a quite a simple character to make. Um, if you're new to ca character creation and doing this kind of rigging and stuff. This might be a bit of a challenge to you, so I do, I do expect people watching this to already have a basic understanding of Blender. But um, if this is your first character creation, character creation it might be a little bit challenging. But I still think you guys will like it. So without any further ado, let's get into this um, series. Okay, so with a new scene opened up in Blender, I'm going to go ahead and select everything in my scene by pressing A, and then I'm going to go X and delete. Now before we go any further. To keep in mind, you should already know the basics of Blender before continuing with this tutorial. I'm not going to show you the very basics. You should already know how to model, how to move around, or just the basic things, okay? And if you know the basics, you'll be fine with this tutorial. So, okay, with that in mind, I'm going to go now and make this Cycles render, okay? And I'm just going to enable my screencast keys so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? You can see here, if I press a key now, you can see what I'm pressing, okay? Okay. Then I'm going to go Shift A, cursor shift, shift S, cursor to center to make sure my cursor is in the center. And my front orthographic view, I'm going to go Add, Mesh, and I'm going to add a cube. I'm going to go into Edit Mode. I'm going to go Control R to add a loop cut. And with that loop cut still selected, I'm going to press V and then right click to let go. And I'm going to select the left, the right side of my cube. And do keep in mind, not the right side of the way you're looking, but the right side in the actual um, global direction. So if in a front orthographic view, this side. Control L, X, delete vertices. Now we have a half here. And I'm gonna go and add a mirror modifier. I'm gonna enable clipping. And with that done, I'm gonna press A to select everything. And I'm gonna go W, subdivide. Then I'm gonna go Control R, add a loop cut here. Add one here, here, and here. Okay, then I'm going to go W, select everything, and then W, smooth, W, smooth, a few times like so. Then I'm going to go s and select this top vertice, go to my front orthographic view. I'm going to enable my proportional editing, and I'm going to go ahead and just size this up like so. And do keep in mind, I'm using the middle mouse wheel to increase or decrease the strength as I'm pulling it. And then I'm going to let go about there. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Okay. Like so, then I'm going to go to my right orthographic view, and I'm going to go ahead and grab this vertice at the back, G, and I'm just going to move this in, because this is going to be like kind of the bend of the spine, okay, like so. Maybe grab this guy here, bring it in a little bit, then I'm going to grab everything one more time, and W, smooth, okay. So you kind of have this kind of jelly bean shape. I might also go A, select everything, size it, Bring maybe bring this one in a little bit, like so. So we should have a shape that looks like this, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and add a loop cut over here, one over here, and this is going to give me some geometry to start making the eye, and one over here, Control R, okay? And maybe select that loop and double G to slide it up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go select this face, holding Shift, select this one, this one, and this one. Then I'm going to go E, S, size it in, and then X, delete faces. Then I'm going to go ahead and disable my proportional editing, go to my edge select here, and I'm going to go ahead, shift, alt, right click, and I'm going to select um, this loop here, and I'm going to go shift, alt, s, pull like this, and it's going to round those out. So I've got my front orthographic view now, you can see I have my eye geometry starting to form. I'm going to go ahead and enable um, my vertice select, and I'm going to go double G with this vertice selected, slide it down, double G up here to slide it up, and then I'm going to double G, or maybe just G, 
move this one out and move this one in like so okay and that just kind of rounds the topology out a little bit and now we have the basic start of our eyes here okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to also add a loop here for the mouth here so i'm going to go control r okay Oop, control r like so and this is where our mouth is going to be okay and with that done i'm going to go ahead select this for the C, this one this one and this one and i'm holding in shift to select them all then i'm going to go control b like so okay and that's just going to add a um, the, um part to those vertices like so so you can see it made um it, it it just what's it called it's called the bevel tool i believe so yeah we kind of made like a bevel here and with those faces select i'm going to go x delete faces okay so you can see here we now have a mouth slit at the front and i'm going to go ahead and do some more here okay now one thing we don't want um over here is non quads you can see here we have one two three four five sided shape we don't want that so to fix that um we're going to go ahead and how can we now i just want to think of the best way i'm going to go ahead for now and just add a cut here so pressing k and click on that vertice and then this one now i'm going to click on this vertice and then enter and you can see now i've made this um i've made these into quads so you can see this is now a quad and this is now a quad okay so if i go control r here it makes a loop okay and that's what we want we always want loops around the um, deforming um, features on the face now one thing i'm going to quickly do is i'm going to remove this grid so i'm going to go n and just get rid of the go to my display get rid of um, grid floor because it's so annoying i don't want that in my way and i know this is a triangle here it's not a quad but i'm going to fix that later for now i'm just going to focus on the mouth so i'm going to just go control r add a loop in here okay and what I'm going to do now is select everything again. So A to select everything and then W, smooth. Okay. Okay, now that I've done a smooth, I'm going to go ahead and extrude the mouth in. So I'm going to go ahead, select this loop here. Okay. Shift, Alt, right click to select the loop. Go to my side orthographic and I'm going to go extrude Y. Okay. Actually, no, undo that. I'm going to grow my selection by pressing Control plus. Okay. And then on my right orthographic view, I'm going to go shift duplicate and then I'm going to go G Y. Okay. That's going to bring it in like so. Then I'm going to go ahead, go to my front orthographic view and kind of move this guy in a little bit like so. Okay. With that done, I'm going to go ahead, select this loop and then also select this loop in here and then go control E. And we're going to go down to where it says bridge edge loops. Okay. <clears throat> and what it has done, it's kind of bridged those two pieces. So we now have the inner part of the mouth. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ext um, extrude in here. So what I'm going to do to be able to see what I do, I'm going to go Alt B, and then I'm going to make a box like so. And what it's going to do, it's only going to it's only going to then show whatever was in that selection box. Okay. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead into edit mode. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and select this inner loop on this piece here and I'm going to go to my top orthographic and I'm just going to extrude it in like so and then extrude it like so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here select this edge and this edge and go F to face do the same with these guys this one and then this guy here okay now I know that's a triangle, but to make that into a quad, we're gonna go control R and add a loop cut on these faces. Then I'm just gonna to go to my vertex select, select this guy here, and just move it like this. Okay, now we have a quad. Let me pull that out a little bit, pull that in. Okay, so now we have the inside of our mouth. I'm gonna select these three vertices and just pull them back like so. Okay. Maybe pull this guy back like this. This one in. Okay, now we have the inside of our mouth for now. And I'm going to go into object mode again. I'm going to go um, Alt B again. And that's going to undo that um, thing we did earlier where we separated it into its own um, visibility layer. So with that done, we now have the basics of our shape starting to form. I'm going to go to the eyes, keep working on the eyes. So I'm going to loop, select these eyes. Go to my front orthographic view. And then I'm going to go 
extrude right click and then S Z and I'm just going to extrude down on the Z like so. Okay. And then I'm just going to move this forward a little bit. And one thing we're going to do now, before we go any further with the modeling, is I'm going to go quickly and add the eyeballs. And you're going to understand why in a little while. So I'm going to add mesh, UV sphere. I'm going to bring this guy here. I'm going to rotate it on the X 90 degrees. And then I'm going to size it like so. Okay. They're going to enable smooth shading. I'm going to add mirror. And I'm going to get this eyedropper and I'm going to select my um, character here. So it's going to use this as the mirroring point, okay? And then I'm just going to go G and move this guy to where the eyelid is roughly, okay? Go to my side, bring it in like this, okay? Like so. Just kind of get in the middle there, size it up a bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my guy here. I'm going to go to my um, this tab here. See this little triangle here? And under my vertex group, I'm going to add a new vertex group and then go into edit mode and with these guys selected, this loop, I'm going to go ahead and assign it to this vertex group. Then I'm going to go out of edit mode, go to my modifiers tab and I'm going to add a shrink wrap modifier. Then I'm going to go ahead and where it says target, I'm going to get this sphere. Okay. Now it's using all the vertices but we only want it to affect the group. So under vertex groups, we're going to select group. And now these guys are, um, you can't really see it now, but um, they're kind of like sticking to the surface. So if we go in here, we add some more geometry, control R, add another loop cut there and go assign that as well. Okay. Um, you can see um, it is having an effect on it. If it just if we had a subsurf, if I quickly add a subdivision surface and just put that above the shrink wrap, crease that a few times, um, my subdivision surface, and then I just um, hide the eyes by pushing H. You can see here it's wrapping that um, over the eyes, okay, automatically. So I'm going to quickly press Alt H to unhide that, and then I'm going to select my guy here and just get rid of the subdivision surface modifier, okay. So our shrink wrap is good the way it is now, okay? So if I press this little triangle here, you can see it's going to apply the effect, okay? So I'm going to go and just uh, and edit an uh, object mode, select this eye and hide it. Select my character again, and we can now see that there's um, it is actually sticking to the eyeball geometry, which is good. So I'm going to select this vertice here, double G to slide it, select this guy here. And then I'm just going to move these guys around like so, okay? So this guy here, we want to select him, and then we're going to, holding a shift, select this vertice and go W, merge at last. And then with this guy selected, we're going to shift, select this one again, and then W, merge at last. Okay, and we're going to do the same this side. W, merge at last, W, merge at last, okay? Bring this in a little bit. So we have the beginning of our eye geometry here. I'm just going to go ahead, straighten these out a little bit, just line them like so. Cool. With that done, I'm now going to go ahead and apply the shrink wrap modifier. Okay. And there we have it. Now we have our eyelids there. And we'll add some more um, detail later. But we always model our eyes in the closed position. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start modeling the arms and legs, and later on we'll refine the eyes and the mouth and things like that. And one of the things that I decided to do before we actually model the arms and legs is I'm going to go ahead and just clean up some of this mouth geometry and add some more detail, okay? Now, you can see here on the mouth, okay, this, we don't really have any detail over here. We probably want another loop here. Now, what you could do is you could add a loop here, go control R, but you don't really want to do that because then it goes through the eye, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we're going to make a loop here without having to go through here, okay? And we're going to add some more detail down here, and we're going to clean up these triangles. So um, how could I approach this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by pressing K. Then I'm going to click here, okay? Here, 
here over there and I'm gonna press enter okay and with this cutting tool okay if you press K it kind of snaps onto the surface you can see if I drag it it makes like a yellow line so you'll know when when to press um, the left mouse button and I'm gonna go here and there enter okay now we do need to continue that loop for the mouth but we'll do that in a little while so for now I'm just gonna go K again and go from here and click there and then K it's very easy to do over here enter you might just want to play around with that tool until you kind of get it but it's pretty straightforward and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my right orthographic view go alt B okay and then I'm gonna make a cut like this okay so I can see the bottom side of the mouth and then I'm gonna go K and then I'm going to cut hmm doesn't want me to do that um, alt B again to go in out of the um, slice mode so what I'll do is I'll just add a loop in here going control R okay and you can see it's made a loop inside of the mouth here and now we just have to connect um, those two pieces so K and connect to that vertice and these two here K so that's very easy to do um, anybody can do that real simple and um, so we have some detail there now I'm also gonna go ahead and add some detail over here so we're gonna kind of try and do the same thing we don't want to go through the eye here so I'm gonna go um, let's have a look you know what I might just I'm trying to think about how I might do this okay I could Mm, okay let's quickly try something here <coughs> excuse me allergy okay I probably won't be doing that one um, I might have to because I thought I could slide this one up but let me just think here okay what I might do then is just use the K tool again so I'm gonna go K I'm gonna press here here over here over here okay I'm gonna go over here and I'm trying to show you guys how to how some of the techniques you can use to do this okay so I'll just end it there and then go control R over here sorry it's my microphone just kind of fell okay so I've created that loop here and I'm gonna go K okay right there and then enter and now this is a loop and this is a beginning of the loop that we're going to make down here and I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to go K attach it to there and then I'm going to go K over here and it there control R add a loop here and then connect these two like so and that is starting to look quite good I'll be back in just a second okay I'm back and um, okay so we just created that geometry there and if I look down here now you can see we have this kind of thing going on and what we could do is we can connect these two by pressing K like so then go to our edge select select these two edges and then go X and then dissolve edges okay and then we could go control R make a loop ah, but see now that loop goes into the eye so I might just undo that I'm going to undo that okay. there we go that we'll just leave it like that for now okay so you can see here we now have to fix these um, these triangles and what undo that even more yeah, okay sorry make sure we undo that to um, this stage here because we just want quads okay sorry for confusing you there um, Okay, what do we want to fix now? We have quads here. We have some more geometry on the mouth. So what else do we have to do? Okay, yeah, we have to add a loop in here. So control R. And then we're just going to connect these two again. With the K tool. Go up here. So it's very easy to do. And with the K tool again. Okay. Now we have more geometry on the mouth. It's all quads. Okay, so it's all quads. And we have triangles here, so we want to fix these triangles that we made earlier. So I'm going to just go Control R here, 
select this guy and just move it up and then control R here select this guy and just pull it up and now if you look what we have is a character that only consists of quads we don't have any triangles or non quads okay and a quad being a shape with four edges okay so all our polygons have four all our polys okay as they're referred to sometimes have four edges so that's really good so we can now kind of just refine this mouth a little bit maybe pull these guys in like this maybe here pull that in a little bit and we're just going to go ahead and just clean up your mouth geometry a little bit something like that for now is fine and now we can go on to modeling the arms and the legs okay so we're now going to model the arms and the legs now we're going to go to the side orthographic view here okay or the right orthographic view and i'm going to go ahead and select my edge select and we're going to select this these four edges here then i'm going to go extrude size then I'm going to go x and delete those faces then i'm going to select this loop and go shift alt s to round it out then i'm going to go into vertex grab this guy and edge slide by double g double g here sorry my microphone again okay so here i have it now okay i've just slided this one up here this one down here and i've rounded out this one so this is where our arm geometry is going to be starting okay so uh, if i go to my front orthographic view i can pull this loop out a little bit and that is pretty much where our arm is going to be so i might go enable my proportional editing and just size that up, this up a little bit like so and then i'm going to go extrude and then size it in a little bit disable my proportional editing okay and just extrude and this is going to be rough for now okay we'll, we'll refine things later okay this is just to um get the placeholders and i'm going to go down here select these faces extrude size x delete faces then i'm going to go um select this loop and shift alt s and now i'm going to go to my front orthographic and just g and pull these guys down like so and then extrude like so and size maybe rotate a bit extrude down s z to flatten that out a little bit and then just keep extruding size it maybe select the loop size it and what we're doing here is you can see we're starting to create the um the arm the where the arms are going to be and the legs are going to be now we're going to still later on come in and refine some of these but these are just like um the areas where we can work from now so we have that all set up okay so um our, we're gonna probably create our hand separately and then we'll link that attach that to the arm but for now i'm just gonna go to my front orthographic and just extrude this arm to about here and this is gonna be the middle bit where the arm bends and then i'm gonna extrude this out here maybe size that down on the z a bit add another loop here and just size it and the z a little bit select this loop and just go control b to um, um bevel it and then roll the mouse wheel to add a single cut in the middle and that's going to be the deformation point okay that's where the arm is going to be bending okay so if i select this loop just to give you an example don't actually do this but that's where our arm is going to be bending okay so on that point and what else can i do here and remember we're going to refine the shape of it later on okay i'm going to go down here to the legs i'm going to do the same kind of thing shoot it down this is where the leg is going to deform shoot it down so i'll just grab this guy here control b one loop in the middle like so that's where the knee is going to be deforming and i'm going to bring this guy down okay and go to my side maybe size grab this loop sorry go back to report median editing just size this in like so okay and there we have our legs okay that's where the knee is going to be bending right here okay and this is where the arm is going to be bending at that point right there now we're going to model okay and like i said we're ref i know the arms don't look too good now but we're going to refine those later so what are we going to do next okay is we're going to go ahead and we're going to model the feet and the arms and then we'll um place those where we think they should be and then we'll kind of connect the legs and arms and then we'll refine things a little bit so that's going to be the next part 
So um, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to make the hands. So what I'm going to do is in edit mode on my top view, I'm going to select this loop here and go shift duplicate X, move it along like so. And this is going to become a hand. Now I forgot that I didn't have my screencast keys on for some of the parts here. And I do apologize for that. I hope that didn't inconvenience anybody. Um, but I have my screencast keys on now and I will try to keep them on as we do this. So with this loop selected, I'm going to go extrude X and you can see it is making this weird shaded effect because it's inverted. So with, with that loop still selected, I'm going to go control L and then control N. And that's all that's done is it's selected this whole object here and um, this, this piece of uh, mesh and it has inverted the normals. So you get the proper shading. So whenever you get that weird kind of shading effect, it's because of that reason. So just select that mesh and go control N. And that'll usually fix that problem. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go to my side here and I'm going to go ahead and select this edge here, holding in shift. I'm going to select this one here and go face. I'm going to do the same with this one face. Then I'm going to go ahead, control R, make a loop here and I'm going to size. Then I'm going to select this quad here and go face and then select this here. And by the way, to select it, I'm just holding shift alt like always. And then I'm just going to go to face. So I have full quads now. Remember what I told you about quads. Whenever we're working with modeling, we always want to work with quads. Okay. So those are shapes with four edges. Okay. Four edges, four edges. Okay. We don't want triangles and we don't want shapes with like five or six edges. Okay. That's not good modeling. And um, it's just a terrible habit. You don't want to ever get into. So always work things out and make sure you work in quads. <clears throat> now with that done, I decided I'm going to make this monster have um, two, a hand with two fingers. Okay. Cause it's a monster and we do want to keep things simple. I'm going to show you how we do that. So I'm going to select this guy here and then I'm going to go alt shift alt S to round it out. Select this guy here and shift alt S to round it out. Then I'm going to grab this guy and go extrude size. So I set in like so, and then I'm going to pull it out like so a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same here, extrude, and I'm going to size it. So what I'm going to do now is select these faces here in the front and go shift alt S again to round them out. <clears throat> and the same with these guys here, shift alt S, <clears throat> excuse me, to round them out. Okay. So if I go to my top orthographic view, you can see here, we now have the beginning of our two fingers here. So I'm going to first of all, select this guy here. Go to my top of graphic and then I am going to extrude it like so. And I'm going to go to about here. And that's where the middle of our finger is going to be. Then I'm going to extrude it one more time. And then one more time like so. Then extrude it here and then extrude it out and then size that bit like so. And what we have here is the beginning of our finger. Okay. This is where it's going to be bending. Okay. And if you can see here, Mine is still a little bit too flat on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my edge select, select these edges here and just pull them up like so. Select these bottom edges here. Just pull them down like so. Okay. Just try and make that evenly round. And then I'm going to go ahead and just um, select these two faces here. Then I'm going to go control plus to grow the selection. Okay. And if you don't have that option, just go to where it says select and then um, I think somewhere here it says grow selection. Um, anyway, you should be able to figure that out or just, um, select them loop by loop. But anyway, I'm going to select all the way to there. Then I'm going to go W smooth, W smooth. Okay. And then I'm just going to size on the Z a little bit <clears throat> to thicken that up. And that's looking quite good. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to go to my top orthographic view again, control R add a loop around here. Double G to slide it. Okay. And then I'm just going to size it a little bit. And now I have my finger here. Maybe slide this guy up here. Just one here like this. And the reason I have three of them here, this is where it's actually going to be bending. Okay. So our bone is going to be here and there's going to be another little bone here and it's going to be deforming around that point. And what I also like to do is to, with that loop selected, I'm just going to size it up a little bit to show that's where the knuckle is. Okay. And that is all nice. So I'm going to go ahead, just go into wireframe and with my C select tool by pressing C, I'm just going to select these guys here, 
go to my top view and then shift duplicate move it here rotate it a little bit then go to my edge select and I'm going to select um, oops I have to delete this face here these two faces in there X delete faces and now I can go get, grab my edge select select these two edges and these this these edges here okay then I'm gonna go control E and bridge edge loops okay then I'm gonna go ahead and select this edge loop here and go X um, dissolve edges go to my top view then I'm gonna go control R double G move this in like so and size it in a little bit and now I have my two fingers and they look exactly like each other which is nice and then what I'm gonna to do to refine this monster paw a little bit I'm gonna select this vertice and this vertice okay Go to my top view and I just pull them back like so and size them in a little bit okay then I'm gonna go control R add a loop cut move it to here control R move on here and then I'm gonna go ahead and now connect the hand to the monster now one thing I would like to do is just um, select one of those vertices go control L to select the whole hand and I'm going to size it up just a little bit like so okay then I'm going to grab this loop here and size it down now the reason I started it with a loop because this one here has eight vertices okay and this loop here has eight vertices okay I pretty much started by shift duplicating this loop okay remember in the beginning and the reason for that is now that we have even sides here we have eight vertices and eight vertices we can now go and use the edge loop tool because the edge loop tool will only work and bridge two loops that have the same amount of vertices okay so if you had like a, um, a loop with eight vertices and a loop of seven vertices it wouldn't work and a lot of people get this error and then they're kind of confused like why doesn't the um, the edge tool the, the edge bridge tool work it's because you don't have even um, sided geometry and that's why it's really important okay so I'm gonna go to my top view now grab this guy here double G and just size it a little bit like so okay and there we have it now we have the beginning of a hand and arm and we could always come in here refine it like for example I might want to on the hand just grab this vertice and bring it up a little bit so there's kind of like a little dip in my palm that makes it look a little bit more organic and natural and I'm just going to shape my hand like this it's really easy and you can kind of go ahead and refine your own hand the way you want it but that is for now that is my hand and I'm going to work on it a little bit later but I think that'll be perfect for now we have our two fingers and we have our um, arm mostly done and now we're going to go and try and <clears throat> model our feet okay so um, to do the feet is quite easy <clears throat> we're going to go down to the bottom here and go to our right orthographic okay our right orthographic view I'm going to select um, this bottom loop and then I'm going to go extrude um, Z to extrude down like so and then I'm going to go control F and okay control F and grid fill okay then I'm just going to go ahead if it's not quite straight I'm just going to play around with this offset okay to till I get yeah, something like that make it a two up here and a three on the offset okay it should be and if it's different if yours isn't um straight like this you could just play around with your offset okay but make sure the top one's two now assuming you uh followed exactly how i've been doing this okay you should have um, a loop with eight vertices okay if you don't have a loop of eight vertices you have for example nine vertices the the, the face fill tool isn't going to work because it only works with um with even numbers okay so that's why it's very important that you follow exactly how I'm doing this tutorial so um, you, you get the same results because I think a lot of times people kind of comment that, oh, that this tool didn't work it's because they kind of didn't follow along and they have the wrong amount of vertices or they um, don't always understand how the tools work so just keep that in mind and now that I've done that I'm going to go ahead to my right orthographic view again and I'm going to go into wireframe with my C select tool by pressing C I'm just going to select these vertices at the front then I'm going to go extrude Y to bring them forward then extrude again go to my right view then I'm going to size on the Z 
and just bring this guy down like so. Okay. Grab this loop, double G to slide it. Double G, slide this guy, and double G. Okay. And there we have the beginning of our foot. And I might select this loop and just size it on the X a little bit. And then add another loop here and then size it on the X a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead to my back here, select these two guys. And I'm just going to go extrude size, bring them in, and pull that back. And that's going to kind of create the back of my foot. Then I'm going to go Control R, add a loop cut here, double G, and just size it in like so. Okay. So there we have our foot. Really easy. And um, I might also go Control R, add a loop cut here, double G to slide it down. I'm just going to size it a tiny bit to make it look a little bit more rounded and organic. And I might go to my bottom orthographic view and then just select these guys here. Enable my proportional editing. Make sure you do connect it. Okay. And I'm just going to pull this guy like this. Let me pull this guy like this. Okay, just to get it, make it look a bit more like a foot. Okay. And there we have our foot. So that's the foot of our monster done. Really easy. And I think we're mostly done now, actually, which is really nice. The next step, okay, the next tutorial is going to be pretty much refining this monster. Okay, I'm going to go now for the last video of the modeling part. And that's just going to be where we refine the mesh. We add the loops where they need to be and we clean up the geometry as much as we can before we move on to other things like rigging and stuff like that.